and this color just got me shook and you will be like girl who are you I know I know I'm weird okay I know and girl makes your foundation oh my goodness hi loves welcome back so today's video is going to be my April hits and misses I almost said March <laughs> but April hits and misses and then a few music favorites at the end as well so if you want to see what I've been loving hating obsessing over for this entire month then let's just get right into this my first favorite are these sunglasses these are the I think you pronounce it key and Desi Perkins collab these are her mini high keys and they're like the black fade obviously as you can see but I absolutely have been obsessed with these ever since I got them. They are a little bit more expensive, but I feel like it's totally worth it because you can feel the sunglass. Like, it's very durable, and I don't know, they don't really fall off my face. They're, like, the perfect size for my little shaped head, and... They come with like a clear case, so I always keep them in there because I'm not scratching these. I've scratched literally every single sunglass I've ever owned, but these, honey, I am not scratching. And they also come with like a little like cloth cleaner to clean them, so I just think they're really cute, really nice. I absolutely love them. I love like aviators like this. And then the next thing is a candle. This is from Bath & Body Works, and this is the scent Cinnamon. But it doesn't really smell like cinnamon. I don't know. It's just like a very relaxing, fresh smell. So I like to burn this whenever I need to like chill out when I'm really stressed out. Or just like a nice spring day. You know what I mean? It's made with clove and nutmeg essential oils. So I don't know. It's just really different. I don't really have anything like this in my candle collection right now. But this is the one that's literally on my nightstand. And then moving on to a few beauty products. I love, 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 love this Morphe sponge. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I'll link it down below as always. But it's the one with this slant on the side, as you can see. But I love how kind of like stiff this is. I tried using this side to like blend out my foundation and everything, but I slowly realized that these two sides are the literally the best thing ever makes your foundation oh my goodness it spreads it so quickly and so evenly and it, i don't know there's something about this sponge that just like makes my makeup look freaking flawless a little bit more dense but it doesn't really soak up a lot of product so i don't i don't know what's in this little uh it's a little sponge. I don't know what kind of like foo foo shiz is in this, but it's really good. I love it. It's so worth it and it's really affordable. I've been obsessed with kind of like liquid highlighters now, right? Like, who am I? I have a few liquid highlighters, like droppers, lotions, um, you know, all the different kinds, and I've never really loved them. I've always just, like, tried them for a video and then kind of just pushed them to the back in my highlighter drawer. I know, that's horrible. But I recently was, like, kind of digging around, trying new things. I wanted to try out a few old things, see if I could get rid of anything. I tested these out again. These are the L'Oreal Lumi Glow Amore Glow Boosting Drops. And this is in the shade 507 Daybreak, so they're the light champagne color. And I use these before I um, put my foundation on. So I'll put my primer on, and then I'll put it like right here, right here, 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 here. You know what I mean? Anywhere you literally apply highlighter, I will dab it on, blend it out with my sponge, and then apply my foundation over it. And girl, biggest difference in my highlighter. Looks so much better, more natural, like enhances your natural features. I'm obsessed with this trick. So if you've never tried that out, I definitely recommend you testing it out the next time you do your makeup because it will change the game, girl. Change it. Talking about highlighters, I actually love the new Anastasia and Amrezi, Amrezi. Sorry, girl. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I feel like everyone pronounces it different. Um, collab. I love this. I know it doesn't look like I even like dug into it, but you really don't need a lot. And I don't really want to ruin that ripple, so like I kind of like try to go around it. I know, I know, I'm weird, okay? I know. 
it looks even stunning on my light skin tone and I don't know it doesn't really emphasize any texture looks gorgeous you can build it up to be really really intense or just go for more of a natural glow looks gorgeous all over your body if you want to use it for that just a really staple highlighter to have in your collection this is the ABH contour kit light to medium because your girl's light <laughs> Um, I specifically love this middle shade for contouring. I'm so into contouring now, I can't do my makeup without it. You remember like even like a week back, I was like, I don't contour, I only bronze, like I don't need a contour, that's stupid, blah blah blah, talking all this crap. Nope. Totally changed that too. I know. I definitely need to do an updated makeup routine, like my everyday one for you guys, because I've changed so much and you will be like, Girl, who are you? But anyways, I love this shade to contour. So I contour first and then I go in with a bronzer. And I'll mention a new bronzer that I'm obsessed with later. And then I love this shade and this shade for brightening up underneath the eyes. And just like in the center of my face. I actually want to show you guys like how amazing this looks like the brightening powders i'm gonna mix these two because these are my two favorite colors a little bit of banana a little bit of like a lighter shade and then i'm just gonna go right under here just on one side so you guys can really see the difference it makes the biggest difference and i'm obsessed with this under eye bright effect I love it can you tell the difference like this side totally looks brighter than this side it just looks like you're more awake more there ready to slay the day so let me even that out real quick <laughs> love those three shades I don't really tend to use this shade or this shade those are just a little bit too dark for me right now but I probably will dip into them more towards the summer and I don't know this one has never really been touched I mean I guess I should try that out right <laughs> I've been obsessed with this. I am really late on trying this, I know, but it just is, oh my goodness. I never really felt the need to get this because I have a lot of bronzers in my collection ranging from $50 to $4. So I just felt there was no like hype for it for me, I guess. I don't know. I was just never really, really into it. But once it was on sale at Ulta, I was like, all right, now I'll get it because it's like 50% off. <laughs> That's my kind of shopping. I'm really glad I did pick this up because I love it, especially the smell. You're on a beach with the margarita, pina colada, both in your hands, cutest swimsuit on, kimono on, cute sunglasses, sun hat, the ocean's right in front of you. That's what I see when I smell this bronzer. I love how smooth, creamy it is. I love how it applies on your skin. I wore it today just to show you guys. It's a gorgeous color for my skin tone as well. And I just love the way it looks. I also love how it has a mirror in the compact. It comes with a brush, but you know, I toss that. I don't, I'm never going to use that ever. I used to use the Anastasia Dip Brow all the time when I first started my YouTube career. <laughs> but now I absolutely love pencils. I can't get away from them. They're so much easier for me. I like the way they look better. So this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is like my number one brow pencil at the moment. This is in the shade Soft Brown. I'm in between Soft Brown and Dark Brown. I kind of have to decide which color I like better for my hair. I feel like I'm going to like Soft Brown better in the summer because my hair lightens up. But then probably for winter... I'll probably like dark brown better. I love how pointy it is. I just feel like it's really easy to get my brows done. And like they're really not that messy once I'm done using this. So like I don't have to go in with a lot of concealer. I just feel like it makes my life easier. I love the shades and I just love the formula so much. One last beauty product that I've been obsessed with is these Tardiste Lip Paints Quick Dry. Especially this color. I just tried this on today and I need to mention this. This is in the shade Bling and of course I have it on. It's stunning. I love this color. I love the formula. I've loved this formula for a while now, so I just know I love these lipsticks. And this color just got me shook to the core. I put it on and I was like, girl, that's cute. <laughs> I just think this deserved a shout out because of the color, to be honest. It's just such a cute color. 
<laughs> and then the last item I have to mention to you guys is this Sigma brush cleaning mat. I absolutely love this. If you're like a makeup lover like me or you just have a ton of brushes and you hate cleaning brushes, this is going to be your best friend. Like this is so worth the money. So pretty much it's just a cleaning mat. It has different like patterns on it. So for different size brushes, like your little brushes, your big brushes, and it makes cleaning your brushes so easy. You just stick it into your sink at the bottom because it has little suction cups. So it just sticks there. You can grab your brushes, wet them, get your cleaner, rub it on the cleaning mat. You can even take like three or four brushes at a time, freaking go ham, and then you'll be done in 15 minutes instead of an hour without this. I love that you don't have to really hold on to something. I hate like the small ones that you have to hold on to your hand. And I don't know, or like not even have a mat like this and you're not really cleaning your brushes all that well without the mat. So it's just something that I've really been obsessed with and has made my life a lot easier. Those are all the products that I've been loving for this entire month. I don't really have any misses. Like I tried on a lot of things and I actually love them all. And let's move on to a few music favorites. I do have a Spotify if you're wondering. I think the username is just Sherwood7497 if you're wondering. And I think I have it open so like people can follow it. Oh. Alexa, play Icy Girl from my Spotify playlist, Current Favorites. Current Favorites from Spotify. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not high, all these lies need to stop. Cause I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight me. Never been the one get RP up on a whitey. Keep my hands clean, got some hitters moving shicey. Ask me if I'm rolling with some Gucci, bitch, I might be. It's very unlikely, my wrist ain't looking icy. Charging by the minute, cause my time is very pricey. Yeah, I be with a boss be. This is 1950 by King Princess. Love this song. So cold, it just stares about to kill me. I'm surprised when you kiss me. Such like a relaxing at ease song. Money bag by Cardi. Money bag. Money bag. Money bag. Bitch, I'm looking like a money bag. The pretty ass twins who look like Beyonce. Looking like money bag, money bag, money bag. Uh, money bag, money bag, money bag. Yeah, money bag, money bag, money bag. Uh, money bag, money bag, money bag. Hit up from the front. I got that behind me. Oh. That's I Like It by Cardi. Alright, let's get away from Cardi because I feel like everyone probably heard those. Oh, Drake's new song. Nice for what? Yeah. Everybody get your motherfucking roll on. I know shorty and she doesn't want to slow song. Had a man last year, life goes on. Haven't let the thing lose, girl, it's so long. I love this song for the gym. This is Everybody Hates Me. Crebto remix? I don't know. It'll be down below. I wanna drink tequila with my friend. She says she cheated cause she trying to get ahead. The more I read it, yeah, the more I take offense. To the club like everybody hates me. Drunk Me by Mitchell Tenpenny. So I think that's all of the music that I've been loving for this month. 
So I hope you guys really enjoyed April's hits, no misses, and music favorites. Let me know down below what your favorite part was, or what your favorite item was, or what your favorite song was. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it to be notified every second I upload. Give this video a like, it helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves. Don't know, you know what I'm seeing, I'm feeling kind of shit.